Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Today we're going to talk about an interesting concept with regard to Windows 10 and security. So there is one simple way that you can reduce the overall impact of security vulnerabilities on Windows 10 by a significant factor and we're talking about more than 90 percent. So in the past year there's been a little bit over 500 different vulnerabilities that have been discovered with regard to Windows 10. Of those 516 I believe it was, 94 percent, 94 percent can be mitigated by doing this one thing with Windows 10. Now this has been an issue for some time and the article that I read was actually very interesting and I will post the URL in the information about this video so be sure you check that article out so we're gonna cruise over to control panel and we'll go to user accounts and notice that it has the shield if I click change account type I have two accounts here and they're password protected and both are actually an administrator account well what I want to do before I actually make any changes here is I'm actually going to add a new user and you can call it whatever you want I guess I'll just call it admin Let's see if that'll work yeah it did allow that so I have an admin local account I'm going to change the account type and give this person administrative access so I'm gonna go to my mark at work account and I'm gonna change the account type here to a standard user. So this user is just gonna be a basic user on this particular computer. So before I change both of these, this one and this one to a local account, I do want to make uh, this particular one here. Well, I just wanna make sure that I can log in. That's basically what I'm getting at. So. I'm going to go ahead and close out and I'm going to stop OBS and I'm going to log off and just make sure I can log in as admin and we'll see how it goes. You do need to create a new account um, that is administrator only which is what I did. So if I want to do something administrative I have to pass the administrative password. I can give you an example of that so if I go to uh, let's just cruise over to Network and Sharing Center and we'll change the adapter settings. We'll go into Wi-Fi and we'll check out the properties. It'll actually ask me for the admin account password and I will have to put that password in to make changes. So it's very similar to Linux in the sense that now you are just a standard user and if you actually want to do any proper administrative tasks you have to enter your password. So if you do this, you are going to protect yourself from 94% up from 85% last year. 94% of all the vulnerabilities that have been issued for Windows in the past year. So I strongly recommend you do that. And the process like we went through is pretty simple. Create a new account with administrative access. Uh, demote your account to a standard user. Log off and back on and confirm that your user was demoted and then log off back on and well actually first before you demote your user log off and on, log on as the new admin user and confirm that that admin user is working. Windows is pretty good if you only have one administrative account and you try to demote it it'll tell you no because it's the only administrator account that's available so now if I go into my user settings uh, this is the account that used to be the administrator. I am now limited as a basic user if I want to install programs and so on. At least temporarily I'm going to have to put in that administrative password. Hope you found this video useful. If so, like and subscribe. I always appreciate your feedback and your support. And I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.